Performance is everything when it comes to PC selection. While many factors impact the PC selection process, performance is almost always the primary consideration. So how do we measure performance? Let's talk about benchmarking. Long gone are the days where a processor or a system performance can be measured by looking at simple specs of the processor, such as frequency or core count. Today's microprocessors deliver significantly higher performance, they're more complex with more features integrated, and thus, they're more complicated when it comes to assessing performance. So this begs the question, how should a business owner or IT manager assess the performance of the many systems that are available on the market? Ideally, customers would evaluate system performance firsthand, implementing these systems into their environment and testing the performance across multiple different use cases and workloads. This approach allows users to see how systems perform in their own IT environment, with their own security solutions and their own images, while also assessing critical user experiences such as battery life and whether a system is able to run significant workloads while remaining cool and quiet. Benchmarks play an important role in supporting this process, allowing organizations to quantify and compare performance across systems and use cases. There are many different benchmarks on the market and each have their own strengths or focus areas, often measuring different aspects of a system. Benchmarks such as Cinebench, Passmark, or Geekbench help gauge the capability of the processor, while other benchmarks such as PCMark can help assess the broader system level performance. And new benchmarks such as UL Procyon specifically measure the performance of Microsoft Office applications. When evaluating the results of benchmarks, it's important to look at the scores and results across multiple benchmarks. Since each benchmark has its unique focal points, looking at the blended results across multiple benchmarks will offer the best view of how our system will fare in real-world performance. Moving forward, there's value in combining multiple real-world applications and benchmarks in order to get an increasingly useful measure of performance for common use cases. For example, Running UL Procyon while also running Microsoft Teams in parallel offers a view of how a system will perform while running Microsoft Office and a video conference. This is directly transferable to common business use cases. Ultimately, the best commercial notebooks deliver great responsive performance without sacrificing in areas like battery life and silent operation. Evaluating a system across multiple benchmarks while taking into account user experiences is likely to result in the best purchase decision.